Hi, and thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us on medicine in a nutshell. Um, you are an oral surgeon, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And um, how long have you been an oral surgeon, please? Uh, well, um, roughly about 10 years. So qualified as a, uh, as a dentist, um, did a few years in general practice, uh, wanted to expand the scope of what I was doing, so I took a, an SHO job in oral maxillofacial surgery for a few years. Um, worked as a staff grade oral surgeon, uh, within MaxFax for a while and did my oral surgery training and now I'm an oral surgery specialist doctor um, working within an oral maxillofacial surgery unit. Brilliant and could you possibly tell us what what does an oral surgeon do? What's the remit of your work so to speak? Well as a as a branch of dentistry primarily we're involved in uh, management of um, difficult extractions such as impacted wisdom teeth, management of jaw cysts. Um, we also have a oncology service as part of our unit so we do a lot of um, incisional biopsies, removal of lumps, bumps, things like that, um, oral polyps and things. So when you say oncology, you mean like cancers and intraoral yeah, cancers yeah, and so, so on, yeah? Um, because of the area that we work in, we see quite a lot of oral cancer uh, related to um, smoking and drinking. Um, so a, a fair part of our service is around diagnosis and then management of those patients. Excellent. So are you able to possibly tell us a little bit of the career pathway? So if somebody wants to be an oral surgeon, do they first become a dentist and etc, etc? Yeah, for um, oral surgery, it's a dental qualification. Um, currently what they're likely to do is a few um, jobs in different fields. So not just max fax jobs, but looking at paediatric dentistry, paediodontics, um, sometimes community dentistry, as well as a oral maxillofacial surgery um, core training job and then to apply fairly early on for the uh, registrar training for the uh, member of the faculty of oral surgeons. Um, and how, how many years does one um, do as a registrar to become, before you become specialised? It's usually a three year programme, um, the examination having uh, written unseen cases and via the cases as well. Um, it's a pretty interesting three days. Yes, I can imagine. So re reasonably long haul, uh, but at the end of it, it's, it's, is it something that you, I mean, obviously you enjoy it, do you find it satisfying, would you recommend it? Uh, I'm very lucky to say that actually, I love my job. Um, very happy with what I do. Um, it's nice to work as part of a, a, a decent sized team, more so than general practice, um, as I found for me. Whereas uh, as a dentist working in a room with your nurse and a slightly treadmill feeling, the nice thing about working in a hospital with larger groups is um, you're never entirely sure what's going to come through the door. So we do also do quite a lot of trauma, so fracture mandibles, fracture zygomas, orbital floral fractures, um, which I work alongside my maxillofacial colleagues with, uh, with those cases. So there's a nice bit of variety. Excellent. Do, do, is on-call part of it, do you, or is it a nine-to-five sort of thing? Uh, for me, on-call is, is not part of it. We are involved in ward round and the management of patients, but with consultant support as well. Um, so, yeah, we're very lucky in our jobs from, from the medical profession. It's usually kind of a, an eight till six most days sort of a job, um, which is good. And is there a shortage of oral surgeons in the country? So if someone's contemplating becoming an oral surgeon in the UK, is there likely to be a job at the end of it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, oral surgery training has uh, recently been reinstated, well, recently within the last kind of uh, five, six years, been opened up again uh, after previously not having a training pathway for a while. Uh, currently, uh, the political emphasis is towards moving oral surgery into primary care, so set up in general dental practice uh, with specialists working inside practice as part of a, a clinical network. Um, so certainly it's an area that's going to be expanding. Um, so yeah, I'd say that oral surgery is a good growth area to be going into. Fantastic. And from what you're saying, it, I get the impression that it's also fairly advancing sort of feel where there are new things coming on board all the time. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Luckily, some of the uh, instruments we use have uh, not changed much since Egyptian times. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, there is um, growth within the specialty, looking at doing more and more. Um, certainly in the field of implantology and things like that, so working yes. alongside our restorative colleagues for that. Um, so yeah, there's, there's plenty to get your teeth stuck into, if you'll excuse the pun. Yes, wonderful. Thank you very much. I think that was really good insight into oral surgery. I must say, I didn't know as much about it until I did this interview. So thank you very much. My pleasure, thanks very much.